When you think super high-speed competitions with teams of brawny athletes, you probably don't think sailboats. But the genteel sport is getting a fast and furious makeover, and ABC's own thrill seeker, Nick Watt, went along for the ride. It's sailing, but not as we knew it. A gigantic catamaran in San Francisco Bay sailing too close to the wind. The most advanced yacht on Earth, worth more than eight million bucks, capsizing this fall. On these boats, that's not even a sail. It's a carbon fiber wing. And the sailors, well, they're gymmed out beefcakes, suited up like football players. The skippers are lured by the big money teams with seven-figure salaries, and they're flying across open water. It's athletes now. It's not guys putting on blazers and sitting on the side with a gin and tonic. That's what I thought. Rich, portly men with one hand on the tiller in a gentlemanly face-off for an old hunk of silver called the America's Cup. Then I went out as a guest racer on San Francisco Bay with Jimmy Spittle, a no-nonsense Aussie and the youngest ever America's Cup winning skipper. He won it for the US in 2010. Are there sharks in here? Yeah, big ones. These catamarans can fly at nearly 50 miles per hour. It is terrifying. Sailing has finally entered the 21st century, fueled by Larry Ellison's billions and a band of young, brash athletes. Sailing is now chasing the kind of fans who flock to NASCAR. You can see what's happened out on the water. You can capsize these boats. You can crash them hard. These boats reward pushing hard. You push too hard, though, it can be catastrophic. Spithill also flipped during an America's Cup World Series race here in the Bay. You go from this incredible tight-knit team to every man for himself survival. Where all you care about is yourself, and you just look fighting each other for the best handhold. His team, by the way, are in a hangar on the dock, 7 a.m. every morning, working out. He's a big fellow here. He's, he's played a bit of uh, ice hockey. Uh -huh. He's played some American football, semi-pro. It's non-stop running, grinding, pulling ropes. I thought sailing was kind of, you know... Robin Kirk's at sunset. Yeah. Yeah, nah. <laughs> They're sailing twice as fast as those mono-hulled racing yachts of not so long ago. We've strapped heart, heart rate monitors on the guys, and honestly, you look at the results, and it looks like a couple of guys having heart attacks. What sort of angle does it become dangerous that you're going to flip over? It depends, came the unreassuring answer, but at least I avoided the fate of another recent guest, Olympian. Michael Johnson. There's real risk now, and I think people like that. As an audience, they like to see a little bit of risk. If you're not getting close to capsizing, you're probably not pushing hard enough. Next year, Spittle will defend the America's Cup here in home waters. Are there old traditionalists wearing the blazers who look at you and think, ugh, disgusting? No question. No question. The, and look, like I said, I've got nothing against those guys, you know, but respect. The fact is, though, this is the way forward. And it is rather exciting. Are you pushing it yet, or is this uh, just cruising? I'm Nick Watt for Nightline on San Francisco Bay.